today's transmission service we're also adding a transmission cooler and for the part number uh, where'd I put the box right here that is the Hayden part number for the trans cooler and we're gonna install it right here before the stock cooler and the radiator that way it'll help cool everything down but not get too cold to where that would be bad for the transmission so stay tuned and we're going to get right into the job all right so the first thing you're gonna want to do is take your skid plate off those three bolts they're 14 millimeters and uh, drop your skid plate down all right so I got the two top bolts out and the third one in the middle there loosened so we're just gonna pull that slide it off like that that to the side and then we're gonna come up in here Ooh, that's really close and those are your transmission lines going to your stock cooler up there and um, I'll show you which lines we're gonna mess with all right so we located our transmission lines so this is our return which we're not gonna mess with and this should be our feed coming from the transmission to the radiator now basically our new cooler is going to go in line on this hose right here um but it's going to be up in front of the transmission so we're going to take this line off and drain it and um we'll come back when we're um installing the cooler on the front side of the radiator all right so it comes with these four pads that are together you just break them apart and they got holes in them for your tie backs so that you insert into the radiator and you got your little stuff that goes on the end kind of like a zip tie um, so we're going to take these pads we're going to peel them and we're going to stick them on these elongated holes here so that we have enough room for those type of straps. So, there's one. What we're going to do is take our straps and we're going to keep it this high to get the maximum airflow out of it. And then what we'll do, yeah, if you want to hold it, we'll uh, put the extras in here. Try to pop that through there and find a fin to go through. I think I found one. It's kind of hard to go through both the pad and the radiator. Let's see here. We'll just push all four of these first, and then we'll look from the top side. And that's pretty straight. The cooler. Mm -hmm. All right. So put this bottom one.
and that's in there for now we're gonna have to readjust to see the back side and work on putting the other ends of this strap on and trimming it and fitting it so we'll be right back all right so now that we got the trans cooler in place this top line right here is going to be our feed line so the spot i found to run it is going to be right here in between this gasket below the radiator uh, there's nothing that I can find that's going to pinch it or cut it. So we're going through there and it's going to come out through here next to the stock radiator hose. Let me see that light. Yeah, that's the new hose right there. And then we're going to hook it up to the metal line right there. And then we're going to take this lower hose that we have here. And I believe I'm going to run it, or is it, around that body mount. So we'll come from over there, around here, to the body mount. And we're going to go in... To the engine bay somewhere over here and um, then hook up to the radiator and I'll show you the final hose routing when I'm done. Alright so the truck's running, it's on the lift. We're gonna be filling it with fluid now. So we're gonna take the drain the fill plug out which is up here again. See, nothing's coming out. Get that. So we're going to have this here just in case when it starts getting full, it's going to come back down. Um, no, you can leave it all the way down. It'll fall in here. Um, It'll start coming out, and that's when we put the plug back in. And uh, we'll talk about the rest later, but that's how you know it's full. All right, ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Did you knock the plug out? Oh, wait. No, there it is. Yep. Probably gonna change a little bit. Engine sounds good. Mm -hmm. Is a messy job. All right, so we're done. So the hoses, here's the return line coming from our new auxiliary trans cooler. It comes around from the front, around the body mount. We go to the frame here and zip tied it right there. Okay, so we're under the truck now. And you can see the middle line is our return line from the new cooler into the stock 
radiator and then this far left one is the feed line from the hard transmission line to the new auxiliary cooler and then this far right one is our original from the radiator so that is the hose routing for the cooler okay and the final product in the daylight right there is the trans cooler that's mounted to the condenser and uh, it's been doing pretty good so that's it for this one and we'll catch you next time like share subscribe